Today we are going to Jen Ellis' home in Essex Junction. Jen was a second grade teacher and part-time mitten maker back in 2021 when her life changed on Inauguration Day. A photo of Senator Bernie Sanders wearing her mittens became a viral meme. Jen chronicled this unique experience in a new book, Bernie's Mitten Maker. And people find out that I made Bernie's mittens. Um, they're like, you're the mitten maker? I feel like I'm sitting next to someone famous. And I'm like, you do? First sweater I ever cut up, my partner said that sweater is so ugly you're actually doing it a favor by <laughs> cutting it up. Sometimes I'll cut the cuffs and use them for like the cuff of the, the mitten. That is exactly how this started. I was just making mittens for my daughter's teachers. Bernie's daughter-in-law was the director of my daughter's preschool and so I made a pair of mittens for Bernie. So let's get the timeline straight. Jen gave the mittens to Bernie in 2016. What you may not know is that in January of 2020, Bernie and his mittens went mini viral on Twitter. Seven Days wrote about this and identified Jen as the mitten maker. Then a year later, Bernie and his mittens went mega viral. It's very stressful when, when your phone blows up with calls from all over the world, people wanting to interview you, um, make documentaries about you, write books about you. Yeah, in the end there were 22,000 emails. <laughs> so in those late nights when my mind was just spinning, I, I sat down and started writing. We had all been through this collective trauma of the pandemic and, and we were still going through it. At that time, and still we're so bitterly divided in politics and in so many other ways, that this was something that was funny that we could use to reach across the divide. This is a sweater that a friend of mine gave to me and she thought maybe I could use it for crafting. She doesn't know this, but I'm actually gonna make her a pair of mittens and mail them to her. I mean, I don't know if there are any other books that talk about how to handle sudden internet fame, I don't think this is a how-to book. This is just a like a what I did book. I make mittens now mostly for nonprofits to donate so that they can raise money. So this is how I usually start. I, I try to maximize all the most beautiful parts of a sweater. They have holes in them. Mice have chewed on them. That's actually what happened to Bernie's sweater. I had to like cut around some holes and some, some not so nice parts of that sweater. And I just start imagining like what kind of mitten will come out of this. Yeah, creativity engages a part of your brain that, um, you know, is healing. When I sew, I, I think about things. It's, it's kind of how I process things. So in the book, I talk about my grandmother's quilt. That is the thread, no pun intended, <laughs> that, um, that does go through the whole book. It is a theme. You know, the first half of the book talks about my childhood and my young life, and it talks about some sadnesses that my partner and I experienced when we were trying to have a baby and it wasn't working out, and also some crummy things that happened to me as a child. And every time I turned around with some level of despair, I, I found myself back at the sewing machine, sewing a quilt or sewing mittens or, or just making something beautiful out of, sadness. Now when I'm very stressed out, I'm like, I should probably get out my sewing machine because now I understand the pattern. This is the best quilt that I have ever made. The white part is my wedding dress. The green part here was the shirt that my partner wore at our wedding. And then these parts are all pieces of fabric from clothes that belonged to my grandmother. You don't know if you're gonna write a bestseller. You don't know if the mittens you make are gonna become internationally famous. What you put out into the world just has to be authentic. The whole thing has been so Vermonty. You know, Darn Tough made a sock which sold out overnight. They called it the generosity sock, which I thought was kind of funny. And then I partnered with the Vermont Teddy Bear Company and now people can get them. So they created 10 new jobs to make the mittens. So a percentage of every sale from the Vermont teddy bear mittens goes to Outright Vermont. I really felt like 
if anybody was going to make money from this, it needed to be shared with nonprofits. I have never met Bernie, but he called me after the inauguration, a, a call which I write about in the book in a total fangirl, like, I can't believe I'm talking to Bernie on the phone. Yeah, so one of the really unexpected things that came out of this is that people sent me fan mail, which, I mean, who would think? And a lot of people sent me original art, a painting that was sent to me by Juliana Harris. Somebody put my book on earrings. <laughs> this is a nightlight. A lot of people sent me knit things. Oh, it actually goes with what I'm wearing. A sponge holder. From one teacher to another, thank you for being a part of the greatness of this inauguration. People sent me letters like that from all over the place. Your kindness enabled me to work from home to support my family, pay off student debt. This woman out in Utah already had a mitten making business. And when this happened, she was flooded with orders. And so she called in all of these folks from all over the United States, mostly women. You know, you just never know what impact you'll have. Danny's gonna be a therapy dog. Well, a lot of the book is about teaching. Uh, I, I was a teacher for 17 years. One of the things that happened as a result of this you know, sudden internet fame is I began to really take a good look at my own life. Mental health is something folks are really struggling with. It's something that I have struggled with. And so I made the decision to switch careers and now I'm pursuing a career as a therapist. My partner said it best and I think I quoted her in the book. Um, it's never too late to have a second act in life. Jen Ellis's book, Bernie's Mitten Maker, launches on May 2nd at Phoenix Books in Burlington. And we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Do you like my mittens? I knit these. And everything's better with a pocket. <laughs> so <laughs> you should embroider that. That's like an adage for the ages. Put a bird on it. Mm -hmm. Put a pocket in it. Everything is better with a pocket. It's true. <laughs> former, the artist formerly known. <laughs> The mitten maker artist formerly known as Jen.